This year, Samsung went back to launching two variants of their flagship. One with the Exynos 8890 chip and another with the Snapdragon 820 chip. Samsung's been insistent that there will be no difference in day-to-day -day performance between both. So in today's video, let's see if that's true. Let's see if there's actually any difference in day-to-day -day performance. And hey, this is Sundar from C4E Tech. Let's get started. So just like my other speed tests, this one's gonna be of two rounds. A performance round and... Oh, memory management round? Well, there's a bit of confusion there. But we'll get to that in a bit. Anyway, both phones have been factory reset. They're connected to the same wireless network and there are no apps running in the background. Let's go ahead and start the stopwatch. The Exynos variant opened Dimple Run 2 much faster than the Snapdragon variant, in almost half the time. With the Snapdragon variant struggling with opening games, the Exynos variant has taken a huge lead. The Exynos variant finishes round 1 in just 1 minute 11 seconds. Impressive. On to the memory management round. The Exynos variant doesn't have Temple Run 2 in memory. Meanwhile, the Snapdragon variant is trying to catch up. And finally finishes round 1 in 1 minute 30 seconds. Well, the Snapdragon variant has Temple Run 2 in memory. The Exynos variant, on the other hand, is loading Asphalt 8 from scratch. Once again, the Snapdragon variant has Asphalt 8 in memory. It took the lead and is racing away with this. The Snapdragon variant completes the test in 2 minutes 6 seconds. And the Exynos variant took 13 seconds more. Now the confusion that I mentioned earlier in this video is that the memory management is not consistent on both the phones. When I was doing some tests off screen, at times both the variants reloaded some apps and at other times they had the same apps in memory. Like right here, the Exynos variant, unlike in the speed test, is able to open apps without reloading them. And just so you know, all the apps are still running in the background. Let's open up Temple Run 2. Well, continues from where it left. So yeah, memory management is not gonna be a deciding factor in the speed test, because as of now it's a little inconsistent. Anyway, let's test the speed of launching the camera. The Exynos variant pins it again opens a tad bit faster via the quick launch shortcut too. So that's pretty much it for the video. From what we've seen, the Exynos does seem to have an edge when it comes to day-to-day -day usage. And while yes, the memory management has definitely improved, there's still room for improvement. Anyway, that's just what I feel. Do you agree? By the way, what variant does Samsung sell in your market? And are you happy with Samsung's decision? Let us know in the comments below. Also, do give this video a thumbs up if it helped you and subscribe if you haven't already. This is Sundar from C4E Tech, leaving for the moment. Have a great day.